Short answer, watch a OpenGL series like this one. I recommend it. Long answer would be, well, this video. Enjoy. Step 1. Start watching the OpenGL series by the Cherno and follow the tutorial. Get to the second episode and stop following the tutorial. I should use GLFW. Nah, I'm gonna use SFML. Step 2. Download Glue to be able to use modern OpenGL and start messing around with it. Realize that you can change the OpenGL version and change it, then get a blue screen of death because Windows. Step 3. Continue watching the tutorial series. Also realize that there are too many videos and watch videos at 2 times speed. Step 4. Draw a triangle. It can't be that hard, can it? Step 5. Draw a quad. Well, I mean, that's just two triangles, but whatever. Step 6. Skip the episode about errors because, of course, you are a programmer that doesn't make any mistakes. Step 7. Make a party rectangle. Party time. Step 8. Watch the Vertex Ray video four times because you simply don't understand what that does and how it's useful. Step 9. Get a black screen when doing something with textures. And then go watch the errors episode because you have no idea what's wrong. Step 10. Learn about the most valuable pl I mean the model view projection matrices. Also realize that the camera doesn't exist in OpenGL and get a new perspective on the world. Because of course, you are the center of the universe and you don't turn your head around but the whole world rotates around you. Step 11. So, I should use GLM for maths. Nah, I'm gonna use SFML. Then notice that SFML is a 2D library and doesn't support 3D. With that in mind, obviously the next step is to make your own maths library. Step 12. I'm GUI. Wait a second. I'm GUI doesn't work with SFML. Sh step 13. Stop watching the tutorials because you think you know OpenGL well enough. Make a class to be able to draw a cube. Use that class to make a cube of cubes, get miserable FPS. Come back to the tutorials to watch what this batch rendering thing is all about. Step 14. Gain knowledge and draw more than a million cubes. Then get a C++ exception because you made a 32-bit project and you cannot allocate more than 2 gigabytes of RAM. And finally, Step 15. The final step. Notice that Vulkan is the future and abandon all of your knowledge. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and for those of you who are interested in cookies too, I just have to say they're at the end of development, I just need to finish two more levels and just bug fixing until the end. Maybe add, uh, I mean fix uh, the versus mode a little bit. And that should be out in a couple of days, I hope. And yeah, uh, the one error that is kind of a big issue is on specific AMD GPUs. Um, there are just some issues with like uh, weird corrupted textures. I've been trying to fix that for the last few days and it just it doesn't help. And I guess if I don't find uh, a solution for that, it'll have to stay in game, so sadly for those of you who have an RX 550 AMD GPU, it probably will not work after you restart the game once, so sorry for that, I really still don't know how to fix any of these issues. Anyways, with that out of the way, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one I guess.